sometimes being friends with your ex can be a little awkward and so some people think that you can be friends with your ex who so after all what you don't know when you need his or her help others also think that oh he's in my past she's in my past so i should just forget about him or her and let him or her remain in my past what do you think in this video i'll be answering that question can i be friends with my ex if you are interested kindly stick with me i will be right back Hi beautiful people, I welcome you back to my channel. This is Ekei Nyami and this is my YouTube channel. On this channel, we learn about life, love, relationship, marriage. If you are interested in any of this, please subscribe to my channel and be part of this amazing family. So why do you want to be friends with your ex? You would want to be friends with your ex because maybe you share mutual friends. If you share mutual friends, it will be very difficult for you to not talk to each other because your friend is his friend. Your group of friends are also his group of friends. And so... You say we are going out with your friends they also come with him it is going to be very difficult for you to not talk to him another thing is that when you are parenting maybe you have a child together because there are many instances where you the person knows that the relationship he or she is in is very toxic but then they have a child together and it's like because of my child i don't want to leave then finally he or she decides to leave now because there is a common now because there is a common factor between the two of you which is the child how are you going to stay longer heights with him or her? You definitely have to talk. You definitely have to discuss issues concerning your child. And then maybe when you are colleagues, you are in the same working environment. You are staff members and you dated and it didn't work out and you broke up. How are you going to be at the workplace without, without talking to him? Probably your duties may coincide. You might come across him or her. In fact, the relationship is going to be weird. So, and then maybe you broke up amicably. You both decided that this thing is not working out. Some of these reasons might be you realize that maybe your genotypes are not matching, your blood groups are not matching. You realize, oh, whatever being the reason, we both agree that you know this relationship is not working for us. Or before even you started the relationship, you guys were friends. You had you had a foundation of friendship, and so it is going to be very difficult to break that foundation of friendship because before the dating you were friends so if the dating didn't work out or the relationship didn't go on why can't you go back to being friends and sometimes you might also not be ready to let go you know that the relationship is not working out but you also like the person as a friend he wants you around you want her around and so sometimes you might also want closure i don't understand why he broke up with me and so i want to find out why i want to know what i did wrong and so that might keep you being friends for some time now staying friends with your ex can be good and then it can also be bad staying friends with your ex can be good if you both have platonic feelings you both have decided that we we don't have any romantic feeling for each other anymore and so we just want to stay friends you have aligned goals you decide now that the relationship is just friends and you both have mutual respect for each other okay if we are staying friends we are staying friends i will not go beyond the boundaries you will not go beyond the boundaries we we have emotional maturity for you to stay with your friends my dear you need emotional maturity to know that as i said this is just friendship it's just casual friendship we don't we don't need any other thing but friendship if you are not matured enough to keep that relationship at where you can say that charlie we are just friends and nothing else i'm not sure that you should be friends with your ex why is it bad for you to be friends with your ex it is bad for you to be friends with your ex when he or she abused you or harmed you in any way when in the relationship whether it was physical abuse verbal abuse the person could slap you the person could beat you if you decide to still stay friends with that kind of person when you decide to move on or you go into a new relationship the probability that he or she might have a sense of insecurity might harm you in in a way is very high and so please if, if he or she abused you in any way you shouldn't stay friends with him or her if he or she lied to you or cheated on you and it seriously hurts you don't be friends with him or her because anytime that you see him or her that pain that bitterness might come and you might not you have some, that kind of bitterness about the person and so you might not be able to relate to the person as friends if if you still have feelings for your ex please and please again don't stay friends with him or her especially when you've moved on and you are in a new relationship you know deep inside you 
that you still have that romantic feeling for the person that it is difficult for you to let go that when you come closer even when he tries to hold your hands or he tries to send you hello good morning how are you you have that emotional feeling please and you don't want to go back again please do not get closer do not be friends with your ex else before you realize you've had sex again and you are not in a relationship and then when your ex still has feelings for you he or she has told you that i still love you he or she has told you that i still have that romantic feeling for you and you know that it is not possible for you to go back again especially when the person hurts you especially when the person cheated especially when one of you have moved on and you are in a new relationship please don't stay friends with your ex and then when you are lonely and you need comfort and attention when you think that i don't have anybody and so when you when you you don't you feel lonely you think you need comfort you think you need attention and you you try to be friends with your ex my dear you at that time you might not be thinking straight you might jump into his or her arms when you are not ready and you might end up hurting yourself and then when you are trying to prove that you are over the relationship and doing well without the person don't be friends with him or her because if care is not taken you might there are a lot of people who have married and said i wanted to prove a point to my ex i wanted to prove my ex wrong i wanted to make my ex jealous i wanted to do this or that if this is the situation please do not be friends with your ex and then when you are trying to get a gossip on what their life is like without you you really want to know you just want to know if he's fine if he has a girlfriend if he has a job now if everything is okay if that is the case my dear do not stay friends with your ex sometimes because we haven't found a replacement for our ex we still want to hang around and behave as if we are friends and all those things if you are in a situation like that i wouldn't in fact i wouldn't advise that you be friends with your ex so when how long should it take for you to be friends with your ex when you break up my advice is that it, when the breakup is so hurtful and you are so broken for the time being for you to heal cut all contacts take time to heal don't keep or her don't keep him or her in the picture i have a video about moving on how to deal with broken heart if you haven't watched that video i'll put a link of that video in the description of this video you you can't be friends with him or her right after your breakup no it won't work in fact most of times it doesn't work that way before you realize you are still begging you still want to go back to his life and all those things so give yourself enough time to heal to be okay to move on and by moving on i don't mean that moving on into a new relationship no but being at a point in your life where you know that you are emotionally matured you are okay and then you think that you don't have any romantic feeling for the person you're forgiving him or her you, you, you are okay like you are perfect and you are the only person who will know when you get there and you also have to be sure that your partner or your ex has also gotten to that point where he or she knows that, oh, this time around, I don't have any feelings for him or her. I don't have any bitterness. I don't have anything aside just being friends. At that point, then you can decide to be friends with your ex. Now you've gotten there. How do you make it work? How do you, how do you become friends with your ex without breaking the boundary? The first thing is that you both have to be honest with each other. You have to be honest with yourself before you commit to being friends with your ex ask yourself these questions are you still in love with your ex and trying to get back together with him are you still angry and upset with him what are you trying to get out of the friendship with them do you genuinely believe you can have a healthy and platonic relationship with them and then will you be all right when your ex starts dating now will you be okay it's important to be honest with yourself and to ask yourself these questions if your, if you ask yourself these questions and you are satisfied with your answers, then I think you can make it work. And then avoid discussing about your relationship. Hey, I remember when we went on our first date. I remember when we did this or that. I used to love you when you did this. When you start the discussions like that, my dear, that friendship is not going to work. And then set boundaries. You are my ex. We've just decided to be friends. This time you cannot call me. That time you cannot visit me. This time set healthy boundaries that you think that will not lure you back to each other. If you really don't want to get back with each other. And then please accept that things are different. There is no way that things are going to be the same as they were. So you have to accept that now we are just friends. We are both emo emotionally matured. We've decided to set boundaries and to stick to them. If you... 
if you put these practices in place i think that you can be friends with your ex but as i said if you are not over him if you are still upset if you are still angry if you are not emotionally matured if you still have feelings for him then it is best that you guys stay your separate ways thank you so much for watching this video to the end please if you have any question do not hesitate to put it in the comment section for me and i'll definitely see you in the next video